Hello, my name is Sally and I am one of the makeup artists who work with Look Fabulous Forever. So today I thought I'd have a little bit of fun and what I'm going to do today is to recreate a look from the recent BAFTAs in London, um, which were held in the Royal Albert Hall and where the beautiful Kate Blanchett won the best leading actress for her role as Lydia Tarr in the film Tarr. Um, I don't know whether any of you saw her. Um, if you did and if you enjoyed the film, do let us know in the comments below. Um, so Kate Blanchett is obviously very beautiful and she looked stunning and she gave a really emotional speech at the BAFTAs. Um, and I thought I would try and recreate as well as I can um, her makeup look using Look Fabulous Forever's makeup. I've got no makeup on at all at the moment, so I'm starting with a completely blank canvas. Um, but what I did do last night is I tried to prepare my skin as best I could for my BAFTA award ceremony. So what I did is to use, I cleansed my skin and then I used the gentle face exfoliator, which took away all the dead skin cells, particularly around the nose area. And then I popped on the hydrating clay mask, which is really nice. Really good to do these things if you have got an important event the next day and you want your skin to look good and therefore your makeup to go on better and not to sort of sit in any flaky bits. Um, it's really good to, to use these two products. What I then did is I, I used my, my lovely night cream. So this morning I have already cleansed my face lightly using the Perfectly Clean cleanser and I put on a little bit of the Hydration Hold Face Serum and I've also put on my Smooth the Day face cream, this one. Um, and I've let that sink in whilst attempting to do my hair like Kate Blanchett, not, not as well as her at all, but hey ho. Okay, so let's get going and see if I can recreate or steal the look from the recent BAFTAs. So the first product I'm going to use is the Smooth Like Silk Face Prime. This is one of my favourite products um, and Kate's look was really flawless. Her foundation looked absolutely flawless. So I'm going to try and create that look by using, first of all, the primer. So what this does is it will fill in any open pores that I have. Um, I've got quite a few actually around my nose particularly. And it also just helps to smooth out and fill in and blur any fine lines and wrinkles, which I've got lots of those as well. Lifelines, we call them lifelines. And then the other thing it does is when I put my foundation on, it will go on beautifully. It won't sink into my skin, it won't look patchy, and it will last all night throughout my BAFTA award ceremony. Now I'm looking particularly tired this morning, so I'm actually going to put, I've got quite a lot of dark circles around my eyes and Kate didn't have any dark circles around her eyes. So I'm going to put on a little bit of Colour Balance Neutralizer in peach, just a little bit now on my dark circles. So it is a peachy sort of orangey colour, it's a bit of a weird colour, but it's very good at counteracting, counterbalancing purple purpley brown so that when I put my concealer on it should work even better. Okay right what I'm going to do now is I am going to use continuous cover foundation number two. I like to put a tiny little bit of primer although I've put it on first I like to put a little bit on as well and mix the two together. So I'm going to use my foundation brush number three. I'm going to put the foundation on and just blend it outwards. This foundation is so good on older skin because it gives coverage, but it also makes you sort of look just really, really well. It just evens everything out without looking mask-like, without looking too heavy. Now, because I've got my hair up, don't forget to just bring it to the ears. If you struggle with foundation colours, we've got a fantastic perfect match colour quiz on the Look Fabulous Forever website to help you choose your colour. But you basically 
<clears throat> don't want anything to show around the jawline so it should just blend to the jawline and I'm going to put just a tiny bit under my brows but not on my eye. What I sometimes do is take a, a clean brush and just blend it a little bit more just to make sure I've got a really beautiful canvas on which to paint the picture, the picture of Kate. I wish. Do let us know if you've got any top tips for making your foundation look really polished. But I like to do that and then I like to just take my fingers and just sort of pat it in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use two different concealers actually because I've got quite a lot of darkness at the moment. I'm going to use the lightest concealer which is the number one, the creamy concealer number one, in my inner eye area here and here where it's a little bit bluey, you see that, just lighten that up. And I'm also going to put it, just stipple it a little bit where there is darkness because Kate doesn't look as tired as I look at all. Okay, so that's just around the eye. So I've also got some slightly dark patches just here. So I'm going to use a, the number two concealer here. That's a slightly darker one, just to even out where I have got a few little sunspots, age spots. I want to try and look flawless. Okay, so I think we are almost done with the foundation. What I'm going to do now is to use the beautiful, very sheer translucent powder. I love this product and this will really give, hopefully, the red carpet look. I'm going to set my foundation using my lovely fat soft powder brush number one. So just putting that all over. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the other two primers which will help to keep my makeup on all night. The first one is the Smooth Out Eye Prime and if you're going to do use eyeshadow, even if you're not going to use eyeshadow, this is a fantastic product because as we get older our eyes I've got little, you can see I've got little broken capillaries and they're a little bit sort of discoloured. So I like to, you can either put it on with your finger or you can put it on with a concealer brush. And you don't need very much of this, but just putting it on will take away the discoloration on your eyes. And it will also mean that any eyeshadow will go on um, the true colour and it won't crease. The third primer, Never Feather Lip Prime, this one. So I am going to put this just on the outer edge of my lips so I remember to do it. It gives it time to dry, ready for when I'm later doing my lips. Now I'm going to start on the eyes. So what I'm going to do first is just put a tiny bit of true translucent powder just on the outer corners of my eyes to get any spillage that I might have. Now Kate's look was actually a really pretty purpley pink look on her eyes, not a colour that I very often wear. So I just thought, well, let's let's have a go, let's play. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to use the beautiful shade called Lilac Mist, which is this one, um, in the No Shimmer Eye Shades. So I'm going to take brush number seven and I'm going to put this colour all over the lilac base. These are very pretty colours. Even though I'm warmer, I am able to wear them, as you'll hopefully see later. So I'm just building it up. With this eyeshadow, it's very gentle, so you can just build it up. So I'm just putting it to just above the socket line. Kate actually went quite a long way up with her eyeshadow, probably a little bit higher than I often do, but it really works. So I'm going to be bold and do the same. Now her look actually had a little bit of pink in it as well. There is a really pretty shade called Dusky Pink, another lovely eye shade. So I'm actually going to use a little bit of that as well. So I'm going to put the dusty pink, particularly on this area here. So we're getting a really sort of pretty pinky lilac effect starting to build on the eyes. I'm going to be a little bit bolder now. And I am going to take third shade, which is aubergine. So 
So aubergine, a little bit darker. I'm going to put that a little bit higher again, just above the socket line. And I'm going to bring it out a little bit further than I normally do, which is what Kate has done. So just for a little bit more drama, really. I'm going to go back and just put a little bit more of the lilac and a little bit more of the pink. The secret, if you're starting to use colours that you're not, that you don't normally do, is to blend really well. Um, that's the secret of all eye makeup, to be honest. If you if you blend well, you can make most things look good. It's when you don't blend, that's when it, it goes horribly wrong. I need some eyeliner now. Now I'm going to do two, two different eyeliners. I'm going to use on the top of my lashes to make my lashes, because Kate's lashes look beautifully dark and thick. So I'm going to use the soft eyeliner in, in soft grey on the top because this will work really nicely. So I'm going to, I'm making it a little bit wider on that outer corner and then I'm going to bring it in. Normally I only go about halfway across but because it's a special evening I'm going to go all the way across. So you can see it's a little bit more dramatic than normal. They're so easy to use because they're so lovely and soft. So I'm going to do this one now. You see it's a little bit more Looks as though my lashes are a little bit thicker than they are. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is to take my beautiful favorite wedge brush number eight, and I'm going to go over the gray using the wedge brush and the aubergine. So it's still creating a sort of more of a, more of a purpley look to the gray. If you don't want to use the gray eyeliner, you can just use the wedge brush with the eyeshadow on, which is what we used to do before we had the soft eyeliners. I like to do both. I like to soften the look, but I like the fact that I've got an eyeliner underneath, which creates that little bit more definition. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use warm taupe underneath, just to give a little bit of definition to my lashes underneath. You can, if you want to, just again on the outer edge, put a little bit of the aubergine if you want to just, it won't be quite as dark as it was on the top or as it is on the top because I haven't got the gray underneath. I am going to take the Silver Mist Sheer Brilliance Lid Color, this one. I tend to use this evenings only and I'm going to put it just a little bit so you just have to just put a little bit on and what I'm going to do is take a cotton bud and just blend it out a little bit. It gives that little bit of shimmer in the right colour. So just a bit of fun, nice to do for evening. So instant bright highlight. I love this product. That's this one. I call it my magic pen and it's really good for creating a little bit of light. So I'm going to put a bit, Kate's got it just sort of some highlight just under her brow. So you can put it on directly like so. And then what I like to do is just take the concealer brush to blend it in. And while I've got it, I'm going to put a stripe down my nose and I am going to put a little bit just onto my cheekbone so that when I turn, it looks so there's a little bit of highlight, but not too shimmery. It's just a really pretty product. I like to put it into my frown lines as well. And a little bit on my cupid's bow, just a bit above my brows as well. What I'm gonna do now is to do my brows. And Kate's brows are fairly subtle. And I think the color that looks the closest to Kate's brows is actually Bring Back Brow Shape in Blonde. Just take a little bit, just to fill in any gaps. If you've got no eyebrows, it's really good to do this before you do your eyeshadow because then you know where to put your eyeshadow. So really easy to use, just fine feathery strokes. And then go back with the spoolie brush to soften it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to curl my lashes. Try and lift them. I'm going to curl them in two places, right at the base and then about halfway along. And that can 
increase the curl even more. So I hold it for about 10 seconds and I sort of blink down as I'm curling. As I'm doing my emotional speech, I might cry. So I think I do need to have some waterproof mascara. So Lied Lash Mascara in black waterproof is the order of the day for my BAFTA award speech. And the beauty of this is that you can build it up. I like to wiggle it right through the base of the lashes. And you can see already that eye looks a little bit more defined than this one. I love the moment when I put my mascara on, everything starts to look so much more together and finished. Whoever invented mascara is amazing. I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom. You don't need to, but I'm going to put a tiny bit on. Just So I definitely need to create that beautiful, fresh, peachy look that um, Kate's got on her cheeks. So she has used a, a really pretty peach, fresh peach blush. So I'm going to use our peach cream blusher which I just love. So I'm just going to pop that on. I like to put it on with my finger and I'm sort of sweeping it upwards. I'm not going to use bronzer, which I often use for this particular look because it's quite a sort of light, fresh look that Kate has. And this peach cream blush is so good for that. So I'm creating a bit of a sort of like a teardrop shape. And you can either do it with your fingers or you can put it on with the blusher brush number two. But I like to just blend it a little bit with that. So I need to do some lips. Now, Kate has got a really pretty, fresh, pinky, nudie, brownie, neutral lipstick look, but quite glossy. So I'm going to start by using the lip liner in Soft Fig. It's a really pretty, neutral but pinky effect. So I'm going to now fill in the center. I've chosen this one. It's slightly pinkier than Roseberry, which is the one I often wear because I'm going to use the beautiful Tawny Beige, which is this color, color lipstick. I love this one as my neutral, um, but it's slight, got a little bit of warmth in it. So I'm counterbalancing that by putting a slightly pinky tone underneath. So let me put on some of that and I'm going to use the lip brush number five to create a really professional look. So that has given that little, little bit of pink underneath, um, but it's still got a hint of warmth, which I think Kate has in her lipstick as well. What I'm now going to do to finish off the lipstick look is to make sure that it looks glossy. So I absolutely love Gorgeous Gloss Lip Shine, um, the clear one. Um, top tip, if you just take, take it out and put it on like that and put it back in, it will change colour because then obviously it will transfer to your lipstick colour. So what I like to do is to just take it out onto my hand and then I like to use the lip brush and take it up on the, on the brush. Because I'm going to have the lights glaring at me and I'm giving my speech, I might just need a sweep more powder now that I've finished just to set everything, particularly on the T-zone where I might get a little bit hot. And now I'm going to just put my jewels on. So trying to create, <laughs> create the pearl effect, something similar to Kate's beautiful pearls um, and her earrings. So I think I am ready to go to the BAFTAs. Try to create the beautiful eyes that Kate has done and um, her lovely fresh look. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've had a little bit of fun and I hope um, that you can enjoy playing with new colours yourselves. Do let us know if there's anything that you try that you think, wow, gosh, I didn't know that that colour would work on me. We'd love to hear your comments as well below the video. Thank you so much for watching and um, off to the BAFTAs I go. Thanks ever so much. See you again in the next video. Bye bye.